we're going to rip you over here by the fiberglass Jersey cow in the sky, Young's Dairy. Thursday lunchtime, June the, June the 10th. So we're just passing through, and this is the new facility with a, a fake silo in the middle. Huge facility. They're saying this one, uh, from the news reports, they're going to tear this one down, I suppose, because the uh, commercial property taxes would be pretty excessive unless they could get a, a variance. Oh, wow, he turned around. So out here on 42, someone just cruising the uh, Youngs in a helicopter. But yeah, the airport this way and Route 42, there's some airstrips. The Petticoat Junction, uh, miniature golf course over here. Oh wow, I don't remember those steeples over there, but they put a new roof on the Jersey Inn. A single roof. Um, so, here we are, June 2021, and our car dealerships are empty, so the manufacturers are pretty screwed up. The dealers have no inventory. Uh, the manufacturers will start building 2022s now, especially in uh, July, but uh, you go to the store and they're sold out of ammo. The, the shelves are empty. Uh, this is a family operation and they're making money to where they're expanding again. This was a 1970s expansion. That's the original one over there by the silo. There's like a little Dairy Queen. You can kind of see it sticking out. I think this guy here, he's loading milk or cheese. It's raised right here, um, but in there in that restaurant, I think this might be the last time we see it, for all I know. I was sure to stop by here. Not a whole lot of people. I'm parked over here. I can't very well zoom in on that little uh, the water tower thing. That thing, I mean, the putt-putt golf looks look really nice, man. It's hard to keep up on all that. I, I got enough work done to where I can goof off for now and uh, as far as yard work goes. The fox. Bison plate on the Young's uh, one ton van here. And that, this house was built in I think 74. I suppose they'll, they'll keep the house up. We'll get as close as we can here. Yeah, there's driving ranges, uh, batting cage, corn maze, pumpkin patch, hay rides. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people visit this place. Those are little ticket booths. So this looks almost like a drive-through. Uh, it is for the restaurant. They have a two-lane drive-through. And uh, they would set a tent up out here. There's a carport. There, this will be a, a parking lot. It looks pretty ugly from the back, all the mechanic on it. But I'm gonna miss that. I mean, I hope they're not biting off more they can chew, so to speak. That's what our corporations and governments are being poorly run. But uh, these guys have been successful. There's someone sitting in there. They employ a lot of people here among the, all the people coming here. Uh, visiting but it's like a bunch of LED lighting underneath there so they want to have and I've seen it before it's a, a glass where you're gonna look through the glass and you're gonna see them making the cheese and we can't really do that over here in the old part you can get a you, they uh, show the kids how to milk a cow and all that so yeah, this drive throughs uh, not busy at all. I mean, they line them up out the front door of the store. Hundreds of thousands of people. This is a huge deal going on here. A lot of outdoor seating over there, a bunch of glass over here on this side. So uh, they were working all winter on this. Uh, the Springfield Daily Sun 
some newspapers and kind of a little bit of stories on there but yeah uh, forever changing here at the Young's Dairy uh, near Yellow Spring, Ohio. Thanks for watching, everybody. Brother Rip, you over here.